Hello, Namaskar. This is First Post and you're watching Vantage with me, Palki Sharma. China has a new adversary. It's called the Squad, a group of countries led by the US to counter China. But you already have the Quad and the AUKUS for that. So is this just another addition to the alphabet soup of alliances? How will the Squad deter China? And how is Beijing responding? We'll tell you all about it. Meanwhile, Apple was, has been bit by falling sales and revenue. They blame legal issues and Huawei for it. But could it also be the lack of innovation? We'll discuss that. In West Asia, a new clash. Turkey snaps trade ties with Israel. Israel calls Erdogan a dictator. In Russia, Putin is celebrating reverse migration. Hundreds of thousands of people who'd fled the war have returned home and it's helping their economy. In Pakistan, the government plans to block your phone SIM card if you don't pay taxes. Not making this up. In the US, over 2,000 people arrested in, in campus protests. Apparently, most of them are not students. In South Korea, companies will be punished for shrinkflation, meaning selling smaller size of a product for the same price. In India, decoding Rahul Gandhi's decision to contest from Raibareli. In Japan, a bizarre food trend. Armpit rice. That's rice balls made with human sweat from the armpits. No words. And how to make anger work for you? Try it over the weekend. Let us know if it helps. The headlines first. Russian soldiers deployed to an airbase in Niger that also houses American troops. It comes after Niger's junta decided to expel the American forces. Washington pulling out of Niger is a big regional gain for Moscow, which has ramped up its focus on Africa. Trouble mounts for UK's Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. His Conservative Party suffers a major setback in the local elections. The opposition Labour Party wins seats. It hasn't held for decades. The results are being seen as a test of public opinion before the general election later this year. Nepal faces widespread internet outages affecting millions of people. The disruptions are due to payments not made to Indian companies. Broadband providers owe more than $20 million to vendors in India. Nepal has over 10 million subscribers to private internet companies. Germany and Czech Republic accuse Russia of multiple cyber attacks. European Union com condemns it. Warning of a response. Moscow denies the allegations. Recently, EU countries like Poland, Lithuania, Slovakia and Sweden have all been victims of cyber attacks. And Italy bans puppy yoga classes. Claims it is too stressful for the animals. The Italian health ministry says only adult dogs should be used in animal-assisted therapy. <laughs> 